ओके सो डॉक्टर मनीष जगपाल एंड डॉक्टर मिसेस जगपाल इट्स अ प्लेजर टू बी इन योर क्लिनिक हियर थैंक यू सो मच वी आर ओवरवेल्म दैट यू आर हियर विद अस टेल अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर जर्नी डॉक्टर मनीष बीइंग होम्योपैथी बीइंग अ सन ऑफ डॉक्टर सीनियर जगपाल एंड होम्योपैथी इन 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 एंड अराउंड यू हाउ वाज इट लाइक ग्रोइंग अप इन होम्योपैथी फॉर यू डॉक्टर दौरान इट्स अ क्वाइट यू नो इंट्रीगिंग क्वेश्चन थिंग इज आई बिलोंग टू फिफ्थ जनरेशन इन मेडिकल प्रोफेशन स्टिल बींग दैट आई नेवर वॉन्टेड टू बी अ होम्योपैथ दैट वॉज नॉट लाइक माई फर्स्ट चॉइस बट यू नो वट आई गॉट एक्सपोज टू माई फादर्स प्रैक्टिस इन माई चाइल्डहुड एंड आई वुड सी so many students coming to him and they are studying together and learning together and growing together and i also saw you know as a child i could understand that you know this patient is very serious i would just you know be roaming around i would see a patient crying screaming in pain and just after a few minutes he is out of that pain so in my subconscious or unconscious maybe some things were inspiring me but uh, you know i couldn't you know i got admission into the college i couldn't connect to homeopathy at that moment unless i just had a very curious mind about life so after you know first or second or third prof i started knowing that this homeopathy is about human being so bachpan se main aisa sochta tha hum kahan se aaye hain hame kidhar jana hai and this homeopathy and spirituality somehow that got connected and usse mujhe ye laga this science has to you know tell a lot about depth about a human being so mera interest usme jagna shuru and you know what at a time what a time came when i passed out so practice start hua jab mera i did not just started the practice you know i had to prove myself in front of my father where patient ke paas itna badhiya aur itna acha choice available hai wahan mere ko khud ko establish karna it was a challenge actually people say you know you got homeopathy in hierarchy but you know staying under the same roof and proving myself uh, so i started with dispensing actually and i would sit in dispensary and wait for some patients to come so there came a time that patients started coming and at a moment uh, in my practice came jab mai hot chili थर्स्टी थर्स्टलेस लेफ्ट साइड राइट साइड के बियॉन्ड सोच नहीं पा रहा था बिकॉज नो डाउट द रिजल्ट फॉर देर बट देर केम अ स्टैगनेशन नो वॉट मोर आई हैव टेकन दिस पेशेंट्स केस फॉर फाइव टाइम्स इन द पेशेंट इज नॉट इम्प्रूविंग टू डू और मेरे लिए बहुत सेंसिटिव इशू था आई कैन नॉट tolerate no result this is my sensitivity anything i do in my life it has to have a result and because of this problem of you know i couldn't go more ahead in few cases that were not improving results were coming but they were not up to my satisfaction level i was actually i am telling you i was at the verge of leaving and quitting or maybe thinking doing something else if we get paracetamol the fever comes down why is it not happening with homeopathy before quitting homeopathy just let me listen to this one more person and that was the day i went to mumbai to listen to sankaran sir and the first words i clearly remember in my ears he said was that i i was not ready to practice a system that had something to do with chance mujhe laga ki ye aawaz mere dil se nikli hai aur that you know just 
changed the whole world for me. And since then, I have learned from Sir to how to be flexible, how to be open, and you know, by being under his guidance for now such a long time, now my approach has changed from not you know fixing the methodology and seeing the patients but changing the method methodology according to the patient that requires and that has made a huge difference in my life that has made a huge difference okay so the other thing i wanted to ask you because uh, this is a state of art place that you have built here in uh, ludhiana what is your vision what is your vision for homeopathy here See, uh, belonging to fifth generation in medical profession and I have seen my father struggling to make groups of people to study. I have seen my father trying to bring such good teachers from all the parts of India and gathering them you know, to, so that the knowledge, the wisdom can be, you know, divided amongst the groups. Transformation of homeopathy on the planet, that is one of my main... You know, and how to do things simply. I'm really, I feel myself very lucky to be, you know, exposed to so many different thoughts of approaches. I've, uh, you know, been with the, seen my father evol evolving through Segal's method. I've been through predictive very closely. I've been through you know, Dr. Sankaran's approach, Dr. Dhavle, ICR approach and so. So what happened with me, uh, there was a point that, you know, I was wandering from one approach to another. but. There came a time, especially again with due respect to Sankaran sir, that especially when I studied the levels, I could see how we can actually integrate all the approaches under one umbrella. Then I started understanding that we can understand one patient from all the angles we can understand one remedy from all the angles and you know then this along with transformation of homeopathy on the planet I have added one more intention in my life that is to integrate all the approaches and make them simply understood understandable by everyone so be it any method we can understand, you know, one thing by different angles. It is just way of looking one thing in different ways. So you spoke uh, a lot uh, about so many things. I would like to know which were breakthrough cases in your life that uh, for you changed your entire time and analytical dimension. Tell me about some of them. Uh, Dr. Garan, when we see, you know, things happening in our own home with our own kids so yeah, I just uh, remember was it the I think Vidhi or Vani Vani the little one once she developed the bad cough literally such bad cough she's constantly coughing from day and it went night it went midnight and she was not stopping to cough and you know when a youngest kid in the home is sick, mm -hmm. you know, what is the response of the whole family? And I was like, no, we'll, you know, yeah. do it with homeopathy. Yeah. And again, my sensitivity of result, you remember, yeah. either my kid will get better with homeopathy or I'll leave it. If I cannot cure my own kid with homeopathy, what is the use of it? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I said, now, nah, sab log. You know, chale jao. And she has a lot of faith in me. <laughs> I kept consulting. Mujhe laga ki shayad mera khud ka bacha hai. Main dusre homeopaths se, uh, you know, I should take 
and I always said that कि नहीं every time कि I क्योंकि जब भी किसी और से medicine ली कभी कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ा Ultimately, Manish has to give the medicine. तब भी बच्चों को फर्क पड़ता था. And I was like, but I told everybody to go out, and I was just observing her. Very simple thing I saw. Whenever she is lying on her side, she is not coughing. And the moment she takes a turn and lies on her back, her cough will start. And it would be so bad cough that would start. She would almost get up and you know, she might coughing so violently that she would just throw herself. And I just looked into you know repertory and I found there is only one remedy, Nakshwamika, that has this particular modality yeah. that lying on back the cough will start and lying on side the cough will go. You know. Only that was the moment she was on her side that was you know, having little pause between the cuffs. Mm -hmm. And I gave that. And you know, within few minutes I would say she slept. His favorite rubric of my guru Vijay Vaishnava. Oh wow. It's also midnight after actually. Midnight. Huh? It's an entire rubric. Yeah. Cough midnight after, turning on side amulrate, lying on back aggravate. Yeah. It's like a cough. Uh, midnight to sun sunrise. Yes. Yeah. And you know, when this we see in our own home, yeah. the confidence actually, you know, doubles up. When we see that, yes, surely it works. Okay, so here I am in Ludhiana and I am seeing the courses, etc. Dr. Manish, can you tell us a little bit about what is it now in 2018 and 19 that you have? with relation to the courses, what is your vision for students in Punjab, Ludhiana? Right from the student, interns, practitioners, to senior practitioners, what, what do you have to offer? How are you going to take them to the next level? Uh, Dr. Garan, this reminds me of my days of, you know, starting of my career. I remember when the other song just started. I was there for one of the courses. And we were amongst the one of the first patches. Yeah, I remember I was there that time yeah. assisting, sir. So it was like uh, yet partially built. The you know finishing touches were going on. And you know, I remember the first day I went there. I there was the, I got a feedback form, and uh, in that I wrote nothing else but I wrote this. And I want this kind of center in North India as soon as possible. So that time the, the idea of relay or anything was very far away. If you can recall, you did not have any, any provision of that. But today I feel so lucky that Sir had endowed such a trust on me to give me this responsibility. This thought अभी आप सर के साथ बैठते हैं, you know, या कोई भी स्टूडेंट किसी मास्टर के पास बैठता है, तो how many people I can accommodate in my cabin here? So such thought of this, you know, expanding the 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 provision to learn at such a level that सर is taking a live case in Mumbai. And we are having the pleasure of, you know, watching that master playing his keystroke from Ludhiana. What else could we, you know, dream of? This is like, uh, I think, golden opportunity for people who really want to learn from teachers. Where else can we learn? I think seminars are good, but, you know, having that personal touch, Taking the benefits of the modern technology, it's just we talk to sir almost every uh, twice in a month, and uh, it's just like you know sitting with him and seeing the cases, and we are learning. And this is going to, I am sure, expand a lot. Dr. Garang, one more thing I would uh, you know like to share. Uh, 
that like i was talking that i was i'm very sensitive to results okay. so like paracetamol fever down leke aati hai aati hai so this was you know again my main worry ki why there is not such easy re- reproducibility and reciprocation in in homeopathy also uh there is where you know uh i i my thought my heart matched with sir's thought that his intention is also ki ye result har baar aaye aur see all masters can produce the result what what about you know a person who is just begin the homeopathy how should he understand homeopathy in such a way that he is also confident that i will also be able to produce this result may it be fever may it be cough may it be cancer so i have felt that confidence in this space the other song and i just want to spread this to every every new person who is coming and you know i want everybody to learn how to do this especially if i would mention this basic course is kind of a basic course hoga but i would like to call it a foundation course people have said this you know once we are gone through this basic course the foundation of our practice jo hamari rozi roti hai at least wo kabhi shake hone wali nahi hai that is why what, what i love about this you know this place this space and the learning and the wisdom we are getting and you know uh girls they cannot go to mumbai it's it's hard for them to you know go to mumbai take the taker and then you know find a place to stay there in commute it's it's tough why only for girls i would say for any human being it is you know tough to be there so at their home place this platform is available to them and that too without any constraints they can they can come here and you know even practitioners can come and at five the session attends and they can go back and practice they really practice they don't have to you know miss their at least half day practice if they go to mumbai that won't be possible at any cost and most importantly you know what i have seen is we have such vast availability of teachers huh? for materia medica we have dr sarkar we have dr manish yadav for repertory we have you uh, the master of repertory we can learn today in these two sessions how much we learned about so many repertories for cancer we have dr sujit sir for pathological cases we have gajanan sir we have dr ashok borkar for sensation we have dr shekhar algundi uh, and uh, we have dr paresh vasani and dr mahesh gandhi for his uh, approach of evolution and uh, dr jayesh shah on uh, meditative approach and you know again our boss uh, our big uh, universe boss universe boss who can actually you know make us understand and who can integrate all the approaches together and make us you know out of confusion out of this so as a koi or platform on the planet i don't think it is available where such masters are you know available with such kind of wisdom and if people don't have to go to even mumbai it is available in their hometown what else you know, one can demand for so i think this is going to go just fabulous and fantastic right this youngsters who are really eager to, they are surely going to come and learn we have already done with our two basic courses and advanced course you could see the love and the you know overwhelming feedback of people there are people who are saying that in their 50 years of practice they haven't learned from 100 seminars that they have learned from last you know few sessions of basic course there are people who have left the practice and begin again 
there are students who were about to leave homeopathy and I requested them to come and listen, just see once what homeopathy can actually do. And they have, you know, stayed back in homeopathy and they have, I'm sure they are going to do wonders. So, uh, Dr. Gaurav, you have come here in both basic course and uh, advanced course to you know, share your thoughts about repertory and uh, I would especially like to know what is your experience of sharing your uh, thoughts here and you know, teaching all the delegates and what do you think uh, was the space of delegates and you know what do you feel about it? can you just share a little bit about it so I'll tell you before I came here about two years back I think one and a half years back when I came here before that I in a very casual way we were discussing myself and sir and I was telling him that I'm going to go to this Punjab and there's a course going on so he said good you will learn what is Apnapan <laughs> which was uh, I didn't understand I said okay sure <laughs> it was much later when I came here and when I interacted with audiences and with uh, all different kind of people and uh, people who are maybe just interns to practitioners who are into 20 years of practice and after the lecture they want to hug you and they want to really hold your hand and you could actually feel the emotions the energies within and what what i realized about this course and and this center here is that they are very innately connected there's a lot of love and care and there's a lot of uh, uh, motivation by you and uh, uh, senior Jatpal for the participants to come here. People pay uh, people pay fees of other students so that other students can come here. This is not something that uh, happens so often. So I would say it's very well uh, done here. Very inspiring to come. It's more like a family, I think. Post the course, they want to wait, they want to sit together, they want to hug each other and eat together and click selfies and it's it's an entire masala thing happening but more importantly i feel that there is a lot of passion to learn more uh, people even 20 years into practice they want to learn more they want to ask questions teachers are coming from different colleges so all in all it's a, the energy of this place is special and i should congratulate your your entire team and your family into doing this thank you